good morning. Well, Jason is off to work today. He actually gets to be out in the field. They still are not letting them go into the office yet. They're taking lots of precautions. So he has not been in the office, but he gets to go out in the field today. So he was pretty excited, except <laughs> yesterday it was like summer. It was like 90 degrees. And then we got thunderstorms that came through last night, cooled it right down, and this morning was like in the 40s, and today is supposed to be low 60s, hopefully it reaches it, but I'm sure he is pretty chilly out there in the field working this morning. The house is just quiet. It's weird. <laughs> It's really weird. <laughs> Usually Jason's sitting in the chair and he's like click, 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 click on his computer or in meetings talking on the phone and stuff like that. And it's just, it's so weird. <laughs> I have been editing some videos to get them ready to upload. But I also have a little bit of housework I need to do this morning because this afternoon me and Justin are heading out. I have got to do some running this afternoon. But first... Before we go out and do our running, I need to get some of this housework done. This is my Monday and last night we remembered to throw some towels into the washer and then we got them dried, but they didn't get done drying until late last night. So I just left them in the dryer. I figured, eh, I'll get to them today. Which I am, I'm getting to them. <laughs> I find that I leave towels in the dryer way more than I do clothes. Once the towels are dry, I figure, you know, even if they wrinkled a little bit, it's not gonna make that much of a difference. I mean, it's a towel and a wash rag. But with clothes, no. Those I try to get folded and put away because I do not want my clothes to wrinkle if I can help it. Do you use these Turby Twists for your hair? I love them, but when they get old, they get super thin, and I noticed that my hair wasn't drying as well, so I got some new ones, and it's a lot better, but these are really good. You just twist them up, and there's a tag in the back that you tuck the towel into the tag, and it really sops up that water in your hair. with keeping up on dishes this weekend. We did pretty good. We don't have too many this morning. Okay, I have a confession. Not every single night do we do dishes. We actually have been doing dishes every other night. Unless it's like really bad and we have like a ton of pans and stuff like that, we'll do them, you know, when we have a lot of pans. But the majority of the time, we are just doing them every other night. And then we make sure we finish them up before Jason's day off, whether it be Thursday or Friday night, we finish them up and get the kitchen all cleaned up for the weekend. And then we eat out on the weekend and then we only just have a little bit of dishes, cups, glasses, maybe some bowls for cereal, things like that. And it's working. hit the road soon and I'm gonna have a Lean Cuisine spaghetti. The Lean Cuisine meals have really stepped up their game. I mean, they're really good. They're actually, I think they taste better than the smart ones. And I'm not seeing smart ones anymore, so I don't know if they went out of stock or if they're just kinda having problems, you know, filling the orders or something. I don't know. But I switched over to Lean Cuisine from smart ones and I have been very pleased with them. They're great when I'm in a hurry and I need something in a pinch. Okay, 
Okay, Justin ran into Sam's really quick. This is our first stop. We ended up not getting our meats over the weekend and we just need a couple packs of chicken. So he's gonna run in there and grab that. And I think he needed a couple other things too. I think he was looking for jerky and something else. I don't know, I don't remember. Oh, bottled water, yes. We need more bottled water. All right, I just went into Ulta really quickly and got a gift card and then I also got a couple other little things and I'll show you that when I get home. Now we are stopped at Walmart. Justin ended up running into Walmart for me really quickly. Timothy loves this, it's a blueberry cereal and we used to get it a long time ago and he asked for it and I can't find it anywhere and Jason looked online and it's showing that it's at this Walmart, which this Walmart is all the way on the other side of our town, so it's quite a ways out here. But we're gonna try and hopefully we can get that blueberry muffin cereal that he really likes. If we do get it, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, we are on our last stop. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> wow. Um, we ended up going to another Walmart to look for that blueberry muffin cereal because they were there was two Walmarts kind of just down the road from each other. So we figured while we're out, we'd just go look for it. No such luck. Neither Walmart had it, which is so weird because online it was showing that cereal that it had the cereal. I don't know so weird but anyway I ended up finding some steakums and I can't usually find those so I don't know if they come out more in the summer than they do the winter I don't know but I got two boxes of those because we love steakums in the summer they are so good with peppers and onions oh yummy now I'm looking forward to those one day <laughs> We're at the post office is where we're at and Justin Quick had a couple packages he needed to run into the post office really fast and then we are headed home. <sighs> I think it might be time for coffee. I need coffee. Okay, this is the Steakums I was talking to you about. So good. I like mine with A1 on it. Yeah. And then tonight for dinner I am gonna do that Tuscan chicken and we grabbed a loaf of bread at Walmart and it's just the Italian loaf of bread for a dollar. Can't beat it. And then at the Walmart that I got the Steakums, I needed to get a card and I had told Justin like, where do I go to get a card? I mean, duh. <laughs> Walmart, one of the two. <laughs> so I got a card at Walmart and oh Alta oh I just love Alta I love to walk in there and I love to look around I haven't been in there for quite a while but I want to go back one day and really just take my time and look I didn't I wasn't in there for too long but just enough to spend some money this is the gift card I love the color of the envelope very cute and then these I saw these online and they have different kinds, of course, but these are by the Dashing Diva, and these have five stars. That's not bad for like a five star rating online. So I figured I'd give those a try, and it looks like I can do a lot of different looks with those ones. And then, you know, I love my Impress Nails. Well, these ones are almost like a peach color. And these ones are a pink color. These ones are bubble bath. They have a whole line of OPI out right now. And then the pink ones are pick me pink. But they are such soft, pretty colors for the summer. So I went ahead and got those because you just, I never see these colors. Target is always picked over. They did have, I believe it was one pack of the French manicure there, but they had a lot of the Impress Nails in stock at Ulta. So if you are on the hunt for some really pretty nails, check out your Ulta for the Impress Nails. I had no idea that they sold them there, honestly. I only have ever heard that Walgreens sells them, Target sells them, but nobody has ever said Ulta. And they had a pretty good size display there. 
so I will continue to have pretty nails for the summer. I opened both of my doors. I opened my back door and my front door. I brought down the screen a little bit with them because it turned out just to be beautiful today. And the birds are singing. There's a little bit of a coolish type of breeze coming in. It's like, I think it's 60, close to 60. So it's so pretty. Okay, I am going to make me coffee. It is three o'clock and three o'clock is usually my coffee time. It's about quarter after five. I have the Tuscan chicken just Simmering away, it smells so good. Jason's on his way home. He said he is expecting to be home about 5.30. If I could go back in time. There he is. If I could play. How was it? It was good. So it was really the first time I've been into a compressor station. Um, so I work for a natural gas pipeline now. And these compressor stations had five compressors in this one and these compressors are they take natural gas and compress it to high pressure to send off to the customers so if you think of an internal combustion engine like what's in your car and multiply it by like 500 times that's what one of these is and they use a slipstream of natural gas to actually run the engine instead of gasoline or natural gas or propane it's natural gas that runs it and wow. then it's then it compresses it and makes it big. but they're huge they're probably 10 feet tall probably 10 feet wide by about 20 or 30 feet long each one of them. It was pretty cool. And super noisy. And super noisy. Yes, had to have hearing protection in there. Yeah. Yeah, nice. but it was cool. Yeah, I missed you. I missed you. <laughs> we're not used to you being gone no, all day. No, I know, day. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna eat dinner, we're gonna relax. Jason ran right from the door right into the bedroom, got his comfy clothes on. <laughs> You can tell he's used to just, you know, Being not in my, yeah, comfy clothes. Comfy clothes. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for spending today with me. I will see you soon. Yes.